The next thing we're going to take a look at is the engine terminology. Uh, whenever we're working problems involving either a spark ignition or a compression ignition engine, there's a lot of terminology that goes with it. And consequently, I find it uh, quite helpful to review some of the terminology. For those of you who have taken a high school mechanics course, or like to play with engines and work on them, then a lot of this will be a bit of a review. But for those of you who have not had the time or the chance or the opportunity to play with engines, then you, you may find this to be somewhat beneficial. So what I'll begin doing is, is sketching out a schematic of a uh, vertical uh, single cylinder uh, engine. And the, the type that we will look at could either be compression ignition or it could be spark ignition because I, I will not specify whether or not there's a spark plug in it. Uh, however, I'll begin by sketching that out. So there we can see a schematic with all of the different components of the engine drawn on it. And uh, what we have is the uh, piston cylinder device within the engine. And, and so here uh, the uh, piston is in this part right here of our engine drawing. And it is within the cylinder and it moves up and down. At the top of its stroke it is at top dead center which is TDC and at the bottom it is at bottom dead center. There is a little bit of clearance at top dead center so it doesn't go all the way to the top. Uh, you'll notice there are a couple of things sticking in here and I didn't note them on the drawing. These are valves and so you'll have your inlet and your exhaust valve. Those open and close depending on what part of the cycle you are in. Uh, there are rings around the piston and what the rings do is they ensure a seal. So we have high pressures developing within our engine and they ensure that we have a seal within the engine. And there's also another ring, it's called the oil ring. And what that does is it wipes the oil down off the wall of the cylinder itself. Uh, the piston moves up and down as we bring air in and there, there's also a fuel that would be mixed in with the air. Uh, it then moves up and compresses and if it's a compression ignition engine there would be a glow plug uh, somewhere right in here or if it's spark ignition there would be a spark and, and that would cause the our charge to detonate and then start to combust and and then you would expand down and moves back up and it exhausts out through the delivery uh, and down below you'll notice uh, the uh, piston is connected through a connecting rod which is shown here and it's connected through a crank pin to a crank and a crank shaft the crank shaft moves around and that is what connects then to the transmission of your car or whatever uh, device you're looking at extracting power from. There is oil in the bottom and that oil provides lubrication for the engine itself. So that, that's kind of a quick uh, schematic of the engine. What we're going to do now is I'll write out some of the terminology and, and the definitions of the, the terminology so that you're aware if you come across them uh, as you're reading about these cycles. And so I had mentioned TDC, that refers to top dead center. And that is when the piston is at the highest point in the cylinder. It 
we had BDC, and that refers to bottom dead center. Now, I'm talking here about stroke, but I have not defined the stroke. It was on the drawing. That refers to the distance that the piston moves up and down. And it says it's moving up and down from top dead center to bottom dead center. We had on the drawing bore. What bore refers to is the diameter of our cylinder. On the drawing I had clearance volume. That is the volume of the gas in the cylinder uh, that when we're at top dead center. There's also a displacement volume. And what that is, that's the volume displaced by the piston as it goes from top dead center to bottom dead center. Compression ratio, we will talk quite often about the compression ratio of different engines. And what this is, it's a very important thing because it enables us to quantify the efficiency of the engine. But Numerically, it is design, or defined as being Vmax over Vmin. So the volume at bottom dead center divided by the volume at top dead center. So it basically quantifies how much we're compressing the uh, air fuel mixture that we would have within our piston, or within our cylinder. Another is MEP, and you'll hear this quite often in discussion of engines. This is the mean effective pressure. And we can quantify this by writing out the network out of the engine is equal to the mean effective pressure times the piston area times the stroke. And so with that, we can isolate for mean effective pressure is the net work out of the engine divided by Vmax minus Vmin. So that would be a way that you could calculate your mean effective pressure. And finally, two other acronyms that we will see. Sometimes we write SI, and that refers to spark ignition. That would be the type where you have a spark plug uh, at the top of your engine and it sparks when uh, you have compressed your charge. And there's also CI and that refers to a compression ignition engine. It's the diesel that we talked about earlier. So those are some of the terminology, uh, the, the terms uh, that we will need as we uh, look at engines and engine cycle analysis, specifically the spark ignition and the compression ignition engine. What I want to do next is take a look at uh, two different types of uh, spark ignition engines.